Hey Internet, welcome to another episode of Anatomy Bites. In this one, we take a look at the deltoid muscle. So, welcome back. In this episode, I want to take a look at the deltoid muscle. Now, before we get into the deltoid deltoid, let's first understand about the muscles that move the arm. Now, these are muscles that act upon the pectoral girdle. Okay, this is your arm. Look at the muscle. And this is your forearm. Okay, so arm and forearm. And so the muscles that move the arm are from here that make this happen over here. Okay, so we got that down. And the muscles that move the arm are the pectoralis major, the teres major, latissimus dorsi, and deltoid. Those are the ones that I talk about specifically in the anatomy and physiology series. Now, I did a video on the rotator cuff muscles, but I classify those differently because they're a very unique kind of uh, grouping. Anyways, enough babbling. Let's move on to the deltoid. The deltoid is uh, named deltoid because of its shape. It looks like the Greek delta, the Greek letter delta, which is that triangle. Okay. There are three heads to the muscle. We have the anterior or front. We have the lateral or also known as the middle or side. And then we have the posterior or the rear. It is considered a multipennate muscle in that it is a muscle with fascia that attaches obliquely. It's a slanting position to its tendon. And so it looks like a feather. It's feather shaped. And so that's the type of muscle category this would fall in. So let's take a look at the origin. Now the origin, and I use this little um, model in my rotator cuff muscle uh, video. What we have here is the muscle wraps around the shoulder, okay? It forms kind of this this uh, padding, like this football shoulder guard up here on your arm. So it comes from the lateral third of the clavicle. So put this in anatomical position. It comes from the lateral third of the clavicle. It wraps around through the acromion process and around the back, I'm going out of anatomical position now because I'm spinning it around, to the spine of the scapula. So it comes from this front part right here. So if you were to put your hand on your deltoid, let's say you put it here and wrap it around, that's where the deltoid is coming from. And it's going to insert into the deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. Now how convenient for us, there's actually a process named the deltoid tuberosity. So it's actually named for what connects there. So it's a deltoid tuberosity of the humerus. So what does it do? Well, it, there's three heads to this thing. So there's going to be three different actions. And if you've ever weight lifted, if you've ever worked out, you know that working out your deltoids, working out your shoulders, requires different exercises to hit the different heads of the muscle. So you have the clavicular, the front, the anterior head. And this is going to flex and medially rotate the arm. So it's going to flex and medially rotate. So flex and medially rotate. To work these out, you are going to have your dumbbells, I'm trying not to hit my microphone here, and you're going to do this. This is going to work out the front part of the deltoid. Then you have the acromial or the lateral head of this muscle. And this is going to abduct the arm, to abduct the arm. It's going to take away, like abduction. And for this one, you go like this. Okay, we well, can't see it like this, okay? So you're taking the arm out like this, to the side. Then we have the spinous or posterior portion, which is going to extend, it's going to pull back, and laterally rotate the arm. For this one, oh, I hate these, you lean forward and you do this, okay? You bring the weights up like this. And so our three different actions are based off of where the heads are located at. Finally, the nerve, the, the nerve, the absolute gall. Now, the nerve of the deltoid is the axillary nerve, and this is the armpit nerve, and you can see in this diagram right here where this nerve is coming from. Now, we're not going to get into the cervical plexus in this video. We'll maybe do a video on that separately because it's a lot of fun. Oh, yes. It's so much fun. Uh, but just for now, know that it's the axillary nerve. All right, so let's conclude our anatomy bites. Uh, if you haven't found out yet, I am running for Texas State representative out here for District 127. Be sure to check down below for information on my websites, my social media. And always, if you enjoy this series, please sure, be sure to, the new T, sorry. Please be sure to click subscribe and like, and of course, share it with your friends. So until next time, have fun studying out there because I know you guys are. You're having a fun time. Yes, yes you are. Well, maybe some of the time. More, more or less, right? Anyways, have a great one out there. Enjoy studying. And as always, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.